and uh, that I would appreciate you doing that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started into inspiring others to greatness. And uh, again, I am a person who is pursuing a master's in divinity, so I can't help but to uh, always relate to scriptures when I see, and that's okay. And uh, I'm reminded of a story of uh, the shepherd boy, well, David, not King David, but the shepherd boy. And the scripture reads it, and he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in the shepherd's bag, which he had, and even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence out a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his, head, his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine, and slew him, that there was no sword in the hand of David. So I just want to give you a theme today, is what's in your wallet? What's in your wallet? I was reading a book called Good to Great, and as I read it, the, the author had said, good is the enemy of great. So I took that statement and I bounced it off a friend of mine, and and I told her, do you think good is the enemy of great? And she said, no, I don't agree with that. She said, mediocrity is the enemy of great. Good is where you start from. And then one thing, one thing will lead you into greatness. We know that mediocrity leads you to a place of complacency, mm. aims for the status quo, it does encourage you to take, it does not encourage you to take on challenges. It keeps you in your comfort zone. It does not encourage you to develop or master your skill so that when the time comes for you to face one of your challenges, you would not be able to defeat it. That's what mediocrity does. So I think about David, the shepherd boy who mastered his skill to shoot a slingshot. He mastered it in prime, the privacy of his own home and in the fields. When he faced with predators, he knew what stones to choose to defeat his enemies. So have you checked your wallet? Have you determined what kind of stones do you possess? So David heard about the giant. He didn't ask how big was the giant, how much did he weigh, or, or how fierce he was. He knew exactly what type of stone he needed to conquer his adversary. So we are professionals, we are people who have businesses. What stones are you carrying in your wallet? What will take you from being good into greatness? The first thing, the first stone that I carry in my wallet, maybe you, I don't know, but I think professionalism. First of all, um, you can look professional, professional, you can dress in your fancy clothes, you can put on your fancy shoes and drive a fancy car, and you can flaunt your degrees, but that does not mean you are a professional. Mm. It does not mean it. And then you can sound articulate and you can enunciate your words in a way that could capture people's attention, but that's not professionalism. We have to align our services up with our look. We can't look the part, but be not, but not be worth a dime. See, professionalism is, no, is more than knowing what to do. It's doing what you know. Yeah. Mm. You can't just go around saying what you do. You have to actually do it. So the doing is what is complicated because people do not want to do what is necessary to get the job done. Don't build a reputation of being a good for nothing. We have too many of those in business already. The second thing is your health. Now I tell everybody I love my dentist. I love my dentist, but my dentist, before he uh, started checking, started working on my teeth, he said, Miss Swag, won't you go ahead and get up and go to your doctor? And I went, what? why do you want me to go to my doctor's office? He said, because go check your blood pressure. So when I checked my blood pressure, I found out it was extremely high. 
And my doctor told me, he said, ma'am, you are walking time up. He said, you, your blood pressure is 200 over 131. Ooh. He said, you were getting ready to stroke out. Okay. So I started a business called Seeds and Salads because I had to start learning to eat right and to work out and to take care of myself. So when you are in business, you should want to make sure, keep a balanced life and work on your health. Because God, when God sends you on your purpose, you don't want to have to drag a luggage full of pills and medication. Okay? Number three, don't you settle. Don't you settle. Don't let fear and don't let the unknown hold you back. Trust in your dreams and pursue your passions. You have everything you need. The Bible says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will uh, ask, seek and you will find and knock and it will be open to you. Don't let anybody tell you to lower your standards. You keep your standards exactly where it is to take your business from good to great. Mm -hmm. The next stone I could tell you is integrity. My grandmother used to say, my word is my bond. My word is my bond. I didn't know what she meant by that when I was younger, but I know what it is now. That means, she said, I mean what I say and I say what I mean. If I tell you I'm going to do something, I will do it. Far too many times we have to make contracts with people because people will not do what they say. You should be a person that will say it and mean it and will do it. So people need services that they can count on, a person of integrity. So the last one I want to tell you as professionals, there is you need to do one more thing, and that's read. There are three things you need to keep in your wallet with you. A newspaper, a Bible, and a book that you are constantly re excuse me, reading. Nobody wants to be connected with somebody that's not abreast of what's going on around them. You should be reading to always wanting to improve yourself. You should be reading the newspaper to know what's going on in your world. And then you should have a Bible so you can keep your morals in place. People want to deal with people who are doing the living, doing the right thing. And then finally, I want to share this with you. You can, if we want to climb to high, a little bit higher and move our business from good to great, we have to know what stones are needed to slay the giant. The giant may be marketing strategies, reaching a potential client, customer service, or customer relation. But whatever the giant is for your business, check your wallet and choose the right stone to get the job done. Amen, and thank you so much. Amen. Woo!